In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a winch on the bed of your pickup truck. For this tutorial, you will need some angle iron. I'm using 3 inch by 3 inch by 3 16 wall, a hand drill, some drill bits, a measuring tape, some nuts and bolts to attach it to the truck. Also optional are some nuts and bolts to attach the bracket to itself, or you could use a MIG or TIG welder to weld it together. I'm also using an angle grinder with a cutoff wheel, or a cold saw with a blade designed for cutting steel. A winch and any mounting hardware doesn't need to be ready for too much because your bed can't hold that much anyways. The first step is to measure from the inside lip of one side of your bed all the way to the other. The bed on this F-150 comes in at about 62 and a half inches. So the way this is gonna work is these two lines right here are the lips that we just measured. So we know they're 62 and a half inches apart. What I'm gonna do is bolt a short piece of the angle iron directly to that rail. So I'm just gonna drill two holes through it and mount it either like this, or I could flip it upside down and mount it like this directly to it. Once I've mounted those between them, I'm gonna put the long piece of angle iron and that's where I'm gonna weld it to each end or bolt it to each end, right here and right here. And then in the middle of the angle iron is where I'm gonna put the winch. So if I have this angle iron like I have in the drawing, it'll look something like this. And this will sit roughly right here. This is where I'm gonna weld it or bolt it to this piece. And then right here is where it'll mount directly to the rails of the truck. So the first step I'm gonna do is cut out something similar to this. I'm gonna make it exactly three inches. So it'll span the entire width of this. This is just a scrap piece that I'm using for demonstration, but I want it to span the full width and then I will come and attach it somehow. Here's one of the pieces that I just cut. As you can see, it's a fairly good match right here. It spans the entire width. Next step is to cut the main piece of the bracket. To do this, you will need to calculate how much overlap you want on each one of these side pieces. So if I stick it one and a half inch away from the back side of where this is going to mount, I know the other side is also one and a half inch, so that's three inches total. So three inches. So to find out how long your main piece should be, just subtract the width between the rails. So in my case, it was 62.5. Subtract that three inches. And that is equal to 59.5 inches. So now I'm just gonna go cut a length of angle iron equal to this. And here are the pieces mocked up after cutting them. I've decided this is how I'm gonna mount it just to have plenty of clearance and it will sit below the tonneau cover. Okay, so here I am back at the truck, uh, mocking up how it will mount. I don't want it to sit this low, but I can't go any higher since it's hitting right there. So what I'm gonna do is cut off the top part of this bracket. And this is what I have so far. This is roughly what it will look like once mounted in the truck. Now that I've cut off the excess length right here, I'm gonna drill the holes that'll go through right here. I'm just gonna do two of them. So this is gonna sit like this in my configuration. The rail is gonna be right here. So I need to drill the holes through this face like this. The higher I go, the lower this will sit relative to the rail. So I'm gonna go somewhere in the middle, but I need to make sure there's still clearance on the bottom so that a nut and bolt will fit. So I'm just gonna pick 0.85 inches. It's an arbitrary number, but it's somewhere in the middle. So I'm just gonna scribe a line across here. Now that I have that measured, I need to decide how to space them. I know that this is three inches wide, so I'm gonna space them evenly. It doesn't really matter how wide they're spaced. The wider you go, the more support it'll have from rotating like this. So I'm gonna make sure there's still plenty of distance between the outer walls. So it looks like 1.75 should be fine. I also want it to be the same distance away from each side of the wall. So I know three minus 1.75 is 1.25. Divide that by two, which is 0.65. So I need to go 0.65 away from the wall. So that is roughly right here. So I'm just gonna scrap the line right here. Just as a sanity check, I'm gonna put the bolt that I'm gonna use right here to see what it would look like once it goes through it. So there's plenty of clearance, even on the other side, for it not to fit and not interfere down here. Now that you've drilled the holes, it's time to position the bracket on the truck and drill the holes through the rail on the truck. So first thing I'm gonna do is decide how far along the bed rail you wanna put it. I'm just gonna measure with my caliper here. So I'm gonna put it against the bed rail. Put this up against the rail right here and position it so it's exactly where I want it to be. Now to make sure I drill the holes correctly in their vertical dimension, I'm gonna use my calipers here and I wanna see where it touches the top of the rail on the inside. You don't wanna to drill too high because if you drill too high, 
you might be able to fit the screw through but you won't be able to put a nut on it because it'll interfere with the top up here so i'm going to see where the top of it is i know it's, it goes up that far so i'm going to come on this side and mark where that is so that represents the top of the wall on the other side i want to hold the top of the nut there flush with where it ends up that way i know that it'll for sure clear it and i'm just going to go down a little bit just in case to give a little more safety and i know if I put the nut on the other side, it won't interfere with anything. So I'm just going to mark the center of the nut right now. So now I know roughly what height I need to drill at. So I'm going to put this up here. I'm going to line the hole that I drilled through the bracket. And I'm going to line it up at that height. I'm going to get my drill bit. Same as before, I'm just going to start with the 8th inch drill bit to start a pilot hole. I'm going to hold this where I want it to be. And I'm going to drill the first hole. After you have drilled your first hole through the rail, get your bracket and stick the bolt through. If everything fits okay, you can drill your second hole. So I'm just going to hold this on there since it's already flush and secure. Stick it through the pre-drilled hole in the bracket just to start a starter hole. Once you've secured the bracket, drill the holes for the other side and also secure it to the rail. With both brackets bolted to the rail, it's time to do a test fit with the middle piece. So I have it sitting right here. It'll actually weld up on the bottom of here, but I'm just doing a test fit right now. As you can see, it'll span all the way across like this. I don't see any interference issues. Depending on how you want to attach this middle piece to the brackets, you could either weld it along here or drill two holes just like you did attaching it to the rail and just bolt it together. I think what I'm gonna do is weld one side and then on the other side, put two bolts and this is just to make it easier to assemble if I need to remove it at some point. After welding on the first bracket, I noticed that if I try to put the winch on here, there's not enough space that just isn't wide enough. So what I'm going to do is cut off a strip off here. Since there isn't really strength needed right here, the strength is needed right here for downward force. I'll be able to cut off right here and not affect it. There should still be more than stiff enough in the downward direction. To make this easier to weld this extension piece on, what I'm going to do is drill these two holes first on the mount bolt them in that way I'll have a nice flat surface to hold this up to and then weld from the other side. The winch comes with eight millimeter bolts so I'm going to locate this by drilling with a 2160 force which is slightly oversized compared to an M8. So I'm just going to hold this here and then start a pilot hole just to mark it basically. Same for this hole then I'll be able to remove this and drill them all the way through. I have drilled through and bolted the plate on. I'm going to flip it upside down and weld that extension plate on right now. Now that I've drilled all four mounting holes, what I'm going to do is put the other loose bracket right here. And I'm going to drill two holes right here since I'm going to bolt this side and not weld it. I don't want them to be in the same line because it'll be able to rock like this. So I'm going to drill one right here and then the other one right here. That way it'll be more stable. I have the bracket secured on that side and it's just sitting here on this box on this side. So let's put it up right here. I'm going to mark the location of this first hole so I know where to drill it. I can't reach the second hole. It's underneath the tunnel cover bracket. I'm going to actually just mount this like it is with one hole attached and I'm going to drill a dimple hole but I'm going to oversize it once I drill all the way through to account for any misalignment that I have right here since I know this won't be exactly how it will be installed. Now that I've drilled the holes I'm going to put this mount back on. Next I'm going to support the bracket with this box here. Now I'm going to install the bolts on the other side. After loosely installing the nuts and bolts, you should be able to fully tighten them now and everything should fit up. Step, install the winch and wiring.
After initial testing, I've done some minor changes. I actually cut it too short, so it didn't span the full width without pulling in the bed rail slightly. So I've added some shims. I just tack welded some washers on. Also, I completely failed and forgot that the winch needs to be upside down. Otherwise, it won't be able to be installed with the tonneau cover. So this is the underside of what it looks like. The bottom of the truck is up here. So this will sit like this, completely upside down. To make sure this bits up completely with the back side, it needs to clear this radius right here. So I've tack welded more washers to raise it up. That way it'll clear the radius in the angle iron. I'll also install the winch so that the cable comes as close as possible to where it mounts on the bed rails. That way there's no tendency for it to try to bend it around the bolt pattern. The cable should be completely in line with the bolt pattern so it's all in shear and not trying to bend it. Also with the increased thickness right here, the stock bolts didn't work so I had to make some custom ones. I had some M8 thread line around so I was able to make some up. Now that I'm fairly confident this will work once I bolt it back on, what I'm going to do now is go outside and spray this with water to get all the grease off. Then I'm going to let it dry and hit it with the wire wheel to get all the oxidation off. Then I'm going to paint it and then reinstall it. I'm also going to run the grinder wheel along all edges to put a chamfer in so I don't cut myself when I'm reinstalling it. And here is the finished product after a slight redesign.